so this is a Jar Jar episode. It's not really. I mean, obviously Jar Jar Banks is in it. What I mean is this is actually an Indiana Jones episode. Like, I'm sure you caught that, right? Going through it. Like, the big adventure music and charging in to save the day and the fighting on the, the side of the staircases. and I mean, they basically call you Ma with the force instead of hearts. Come on. I do have to say, though, it's funny that there's just suddenly this race that, I don't know, maybe I'm an idiot, but I've never heard of before, who has a pre-existing arrangement with Jar Jar and apparently the Jedi. And, of course, they hate the Jedi because the Jedi used to steal their children, although that's not how the Jedi see that. But, I mean, how can anyone ever possibly dislike the Jedi for their practices of taking kids? And then there's the fact that Jar Jar apparently has a romantic relationship with the queen of these people. When did that happen? I mean, I know we don't exactly see a lot of Jar Jar's life, but I just like to think of how Jar Jar bumbled into this planet. Like, I'm picturing him being like, okay, this is gonna go this way, and then he goes this way, but then, oh no, there's a thing, and he stumbles onto it, and he gets shoved into the escape pod, and it checks down to the planet, and he's like, oh my god, no, and he ends up in her swimming pool. And so he's like, no, please. And she's like, oh, my God, guard, seize him. And he's like, no, no, he's not dangerous. I swear. And he stumbles over and smashes into the guard who accidentally stuns the other guard. And they're both decapitated. And, and she's like, very well, you have me at your mercy. And he's like, no, no, no mercy. Misa just said hi. And he grabs her hand and picks her up. Ah, Misa, Jaja Biggs. <laughs> and she's just like, he's wonderful. Mwah, mwah, mwah. How the hell did this arrangement happen? Don't answer that question. Now, <clears throat> I also got to admit, first of all, why did they send Windu of all people on this one? I mean, Windu's the warrior, right? The duelist, to be more specific. So, second of all, it's got to really hurt when you hear the words, as, especially as Mace Windu. Okay, well, Jar Jar Binks vouches for you so you may stay. So Windu, uh, there's this scene which actually kind of bothers me. It's the one scene in this whole episode that actually doesn't fit. Because I actually do like this episode. The average, you know, it's like net positive. Except for this one scene. It's when Windu is like, oh, I want to go see the queen. And they're like, no. So he says, okay, no problem. Let me in. No. Okay, so then he has to do a bunch of a runaround to get in. And then when he finally gets in... What was he planning on happening? Like, he was expressly forbidden from going in there. As she points out, she gets pissed when he shows up. And so, what, what was his goal here? Just to be like, hi, so, um, I'm here, and you should deal with me and not Jar Jar. He's a moron. Like, was that what she was? he was planning to do? Anyways. So then, of course, speaking of that scene, there's another thing I don't like about that scene. It's a very typical thing in fiction. Uh, I believe the TV trope for this is called Can't Spit It Out. I could be wrong about that. Because it's she's like, oh, you don't understand. There's this grave danger of, of epic proportions. This is the most dangerous thing in the known universe. The entirety of the Force is at danger. Oh, I can't possibly tell you. You're the only person I can trust with this valuable and precise information that I can't tell you because I can't spit it out. And then Windu pops in. I mean... She had like a... I don't even know how long to tell him this. Like, seriously. In fact, Windu has a line later, where were you last night? With her. So she's had basically a, a bare minimum of hours to be able to tell him what the hell's going on. <sighs> Anyways. And then we get to the Indiana Jones section, which I actually don't have much to talk about, other than stealing the force from people. Sure. <laughs> I'm just going to, I'm willing to go, I mean, we already have literal force magic, so fine. I know everyone, I, I, I know, I do, I do know that everyone has their own different interpretations of the force, and so the idea of being able to literally rip the force out of something, sure, force vampires, I'm with it. I do find myself wondering what the point is, though. Like, what do you do with the force that you've ripped out of someone once you have it? Like, what, what, what utility does that service? It's like, all right, we have raw force, what can we do with it? Maybe if we made an engine that consumed the essence of a star. Anyways, I'll see you next time, guys.